Hello everyone, Pelly Tim here. Welcome back to the A through Z playthrough. In today's video, we've landed on Lee Ming, currently sitting at a whopping 45.7% win rate, putting her as the seventh lowest or sixth lowest win rate in the game. Excuse me, sixth lowest in the game. Her popularity, however, is at 26%. So she's always been one of those characters that people think that they're better at Li Ming than they actually are. She's very fun to play. And when you get those resets, man, when you can proc her trait, it is so fun. But quite simply, a lot of people can't land her skill shots consistently enough to really start to win games. That's why when you see people that are good at Li Ming, it's really easy to notice right away. Over the years, my perception of Li Ming is that she's had some pretty good build variety. For instance, at level 1, Power Hungry has always kind of been the go-to, and Dominance has always been the go-to at, at level 4. But after that, you can kind of branch off and do a bunch of different things. That mostly depends on the map. However, even though she's only received two changes in the past year, which is Aether Walker at level 1 uh, reduced the... Reduce the time required after taking damage from 5 to 4 seconds. And then at level 4, Dominance now restores 30% of Li Ming's missing health. It didn't actually say what it changed from, which is odd, so I don't know how much it restored before. Those are the only two changes she's received in the past year. Despite those being the only changes, her build variety is almost non-existent. You either have people going for the W build, which is the least popular option, or everyone picks teleport talents at level 7, level 13, and level 16. And these teleportation talents, the only deviation is changing the ultimate at level 10 between disintegrate and a wave of force. So her build variety has gone down significantly. And she's the sixth lowest win rate in the game. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck. This realm needs me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves in the Infernal Shrines today. At level one, the go-to pick is Power Hungry. Regeneration Globes restore 100% more mana and grant 10% spell power for 20 seconds. Especially good on a map like this, where every objective is going to be placed right next to lanes that have plenty of Regen Globes in them. Hey. The battle commences in... Uh, so, our Q ability is Magic Missiles. These are three different projectiles that will collide in, di col collide in different areas. Our W ability is the Arcane Orb. It's a projectile that leaves your character and gains power as it travels. So you kind of want to hit this at max range. And then our E ability is Teleport, which allows us to teleport a small distance. Ooh. Ooh, a hammer. Uh, teleport a small distance to relocate ourselves. Uh, if they just have a hammer sitting here, I should be able to poke them down pretty well. You know, maybe. Alex Straza is also a pretty good healer at keeping hammer alive. But it, it looks like we persuaded them to leave. The friendly team, Li Ming, Jim Rayner, Kel'Thas, White Mane, and Artanis. The enemy team, Sonya, Alex Straza, Azradan, Sergeant Hammer, and Zagara. Yeah, so basically I'm just going to throw spells non-stop at these guys and hope that they hit. I do leave my W ability on Quick Cast on release, whereas every other ability in the game I have on pure Quick Cast. Uh, the reason for that is because it has three different projectiles. It can actually be quite difficult to pinpoint exactly where all of those are going to land. But if you play on release, then you know exactly where they're going to land, which is nice. Uh, Asmodan can spawn a million things in front of me to stop all of my projectiles, which is annoying. Of course, Sergeant Hammer's sitting in the middle of the lane, and the minions stop all of my projectiles, which is super annoying. So, these guys definitely have the tools to stop my damage, but I am just going to try to keep the Onslaught going as much as I can. And it is important that I also try to keep these region globes rolling on my character as well, because that is also quite a large power spike for me. Sony on the enemy team has not picked a talent yet, but we are seeing not an E-build Alex Strauser, which honestly I'm pretty excited about. Sergeant Hammer's doing a really good job of positioning in spots that I can't easily hit her with all my abilities. Well, if she's not too careful, I'm gonna start! Uh-oh, gotta go. 
<laughs> They're in every bush all the time. Also, I thought I left Azrodan's beam, but it was still connected to me. That was actually our white mates. <laughs> Weird game. <laughs> Weird game, boys. At level four, we are going to go for dominance. This is going to make it so takedowns will increase our health pool. So we get healed every time we assist in a kill, which can add up really fast, considering every time you get a kill, you get resets so you can cast more skills and deal more ah! and deal more damage. Oh my god. Just fucking kill him, man. Just fucking kill him. Alright, I'm going back. This thing would ever leave me alone. And now I have to overthink this because Azrodan knew where I was backing, and if he hits me with a dunk, I'm gonna die, but we're not streaming! So I feel like that makes that makes me a lot safer. So all this work I've been doing, all of these projectiles I've been throwing out has brought us up to 7,688 damage at the three minute mark. That's a lot of work. Now, historically, this is not one of Li Ming's best maps, mainly because, well, what we kind of already been talking about. If there's enemies in front of me, it can be very hard for me to actually land my skill shots on the people I need to land skill shots on. But luckily for me, this enemy team is starting to group up just a little bit and they're giving me some resets. And I like that. We're gonna grab this globe to make sure we keep our power up, but it looks like we've zoned them out. So basically, when teams are fighting over this objective, it becomes really hard for me to actually land skill shots on them just because there's so much clutter on the map. We'll try to make it work though, boys. We'll try to make it work. Li Ming is kind of one of those characters that once you're really good with her, you can play her anywhere. Of course, I'm not very good with her. So that doesn't necessarily apply to me. Uh, Sonya is moving in. We need to grab a globe if we want to deal some damage. Here we go. We're going to reposition on the other side of Sonya. She's moving forward. The Arcane Orb is going to hit an Azwadan minion, unfortunately. And this game's all tied up. All tied up. Historically, with Calamity, Li Ming was able to lane clear by teleporting onto minions. She can no longer do that, but that's been the case for quite some time. That is not new. But if an enemy team member comes up towards me, we are able to deal... But, but we are able to deal damage with our E ability if they get a little overzealous. Both teams are fighting real hard over this objective, boys. We do grab it by one minion, I think. It was not very much at all. Sergeant Hammer really far forward. There's one reset. I was going to get that one, but she was moved out of the way. There's another reset. And as every single one of these team members does go down, it is completely removing all of the cooldowns from our basic abilities. Now, since Calamity was removed from dealing damage to minions, it has been harder to deal... Well, I didn't do anything there. It has been harder to lane clear on Li Ming, but there is a secret to doing that, and it becomes even easier if you're going for a W build rather than a teleport build like I am. And really, all you have to do is oh hello all you have to do is stand to the side of a minion wave here we go walk in get that reset nicely done that's a convection oven kt with his convection oven quest completed i believe i i i heard that you only get a benefit from that talent if you get it before level 13 otherwise it's not too good uh anyway so you want to stand to the side of a minion wave and you want to hit the mage with the maximum range of your W. Let me try to show you what that looks like, even though there is a big wave here. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do it this wave. But yeah, basically you stand to the side, you throw it, and you want the orb to be at its maximum size as it hits the mage, which can help it clear the rest of the minion wave as well. Not going to be able to hit Sergeant Hammer here, but we can go ahead and try to start poking her down a little bit. We are going to be picking up the wave of force, which is going to allow us to displace enemy team members very slightly. Uh-oh. Nice spear. Nice spear. I was actually expecting a leap, but they weren't level 10 yet. All right. Yeah, I pushed up too far. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, once we hit level 13, we're going to be picking up another teleport talent. If Li Ming 
loses more than 20% of her health at once. This cooldown is refreshed instantly. Now, because this cooldown can deal damage, this means that we could potentially deal 403 damage multiple times if someone is just fucking attacking us. Which, trust me, people will just attack you. I also just realized this guy's name is Skuma, and I really like that. <laughs> it's fun. Not only is it fun to say, but it's fun to drink. All right, let's see if we can push back these guys at all. So, full range Arcane Orb is not going to hit. We do need that region globe if we want to be kind of competitive here, but they are doing a good job of zoning me away from that at the moment as well. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this sippy cup because I want to move in and trade. Nice knockback here. We're gonna, head, gonna go ahead and push her back even further and hope that someone deals enough damage to me, allowing me to jump forward. There we go, boys. Easy reset is easy. Let's see if we can trade in here. Yeah, keep focusing me. I just want to teleport. I just, oh yeah, we're not 13 yet. Derp. <laughs> nice swap, almost, almost, almost. I believed in it. If they want to come through this area, they're just gonna be bombarded. So not too worried about that. And once again, I need to always have the region glow buff up if possible. You need to make sure she, they need to be very much aware that a Sonya is behind them. It looks like they're just letting us walk right on through though. Not gonna make contact. Sonya a bit out of position here. Let's knock her back. Interrupted the sp the uh, laser t or the the spear. Excuse me. Fucking laser Sonya. Don't you guys know about that build? Uh, gonna hang back by Lee Ming and get some healing, hopefully. And we need to grab another region globe before going into this objective. Uh, Zagara was able to take over top. No problem. She's completely pushing up there by herself. Uh, I need a region globe. Where can I get it? Uh, there's one in here, I'm sure. Where is it? All right. On my way down. So. Come here! Walk into my stuff! Here's a reset. Now remember, our ultimate ability gets a reset as well. So we can just keep spamming these motherfuckers. Zagara is still pushing top. We actually need to stop her. She's getting the wall. Unless she's leaving. Someone needs to stop her. Don't give her a keep for free. I need to go back. I'm out of mana. Hey, with region globes, I could probably stay. Hey, I could probably stay. So this is where we get the teleport uh, ability to be completely refunded. The cooldown to be completely refunded. Let's go ahead and... Move Sony around a little bit. Probably shouldn't have done that because Artanis was going in for that jump. But I didn't know. Uh, I suppose it's worth mentioning if you land all of your cues on a target. Actually, that's not true. Never mind. Isn't that a talent? Hold on. Yeah, you don't get bonus damage without a talent, right? I feel like I'm losing my mind a little bit here. Oh, these guys are pushing up real far. The Maw has been used, but only catching Artanis. Sonya at the top of the screen being fucking focused down like crazy. Here we go! Oh god, oh god, oh god, give me a reset! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Alright, I'm out of mana, but I just got another region globe, which is quite a big boost. It is worth mentioning that your Q ability does do 50% less damage versus structures. When Lee Ming came out, I don't believe that was the case. She could just kind of outrange buildings with a Q build. Q build was really popular then. And just deal a massive amount of damage. And there wasn't too much you could do about it. Uh, so Zagara's dead, so we don't have to worry about her counter pushing top at the moment. I would like this region globe if we are going to continue fighting. And it does look like we are going to continue fighting. The dragon from Alexstrasza being used, but Sonya's not going to make it out of that one, boys. W's going out versus Sergeant Hammer. Uh, I'm going to finish off this wall, teleport out of that, and we're going to be completely A-OK. -okay. Li Ming's ability to just kind of do these tiny little repositions is so strong versus skill shot heroes. All right, I'm going back, and you can't stop me. We've done 30,000 damage in this game. That's the highest in the game right now. I feel like it's been going okay. I don't feel like I'm doing too well. I feel like I'm doing okay. I really love Mirror Ball here. Mirror Ball's a lot of fun. And let me just double check. Fires three missiles in the area, each dealing 200 damage 
To the first enemy hit, these missiles do 50% damage to structures. Isn't there a talent in here? Yeah, Seeker. If you land Seeker, it makes you do multiple more damage if you can hit a single target. And if you combo that with Mirror Ball, which lets you throw around more fucking more cues, you get more projectiles. It's really, really good single target damage, especially on maps like Battlefield of Eternity. It's a great build to pick up there. If you wanted. Teleporting. She's going to leap right on out of there, and we are stuck in the mall as of right now. Here come the Banelings, I'm sure. But we're A-OK. -okay. Nothing to worry about. We'll go ahead and teleport out of that dunk from Asmodan. Get some damage in here on Sonya. She's moving forward as well. Going to once again teleport back. I don't have the regen glow bonus at the moment, which kind of sucks. Looks like our KT is completely out of mana, probably because he picked the wrong level one talent. I'm just trying to spread awareness, okay? Let's go ahead and boop her back just a little bit more. Jim Rayner in a bit of a bad spot here is going to be on the way out. Great spear from Sonya. Uh, we're just going to make sure he gets out, okay? All right, I need a fucking region globe. I need one real bad. I can go ahead and sippy cup to get my mana back, but we need the region globe for the 10% spell power. Sergeant Hammer moving down from the top of the screen. Damn. Couldn't quite kill her. That was a lot of fucking damage really fast, though. Zagari hitting me from the top as well. Gonna back up, teleport out of that dunk. Just trying to throw skill shots in these small areas where I know I can catch someone. Remember, if we're fighting on the objective, we actually lose a lot of power. Let me get this glove. All right, if they focus me, we can teleport again, and I need to remember that. I'm not used to playing with that talent. I usually go Q build on Li Ming, but I thought, you know what? Since her meta seems to be changing, let's go ahead and try to interrupt that ult from Alex Straza. Unfortunately, Wave of Force was still on cooldown. Gonna try to come back here to peel for uh, KT, but it looks like he's fine. Oh, good leap. Damn. God, everyone's low around me and I can't finish anyone up. There's one. There's a wave of force. Not gonna interrupt Sonya. There's another. You fucking come back here. You, I'm completely out of mana. Damn. Where's it all go? Uh, I didn't get that globe there, but we might be able to grab this one. Okay, we can keep casting. Good kills here by the friendly team. Also, if you grab Seekers, it means you can do more siege damage. You can do more objective damage on single targets, and you can do more siege damage. But of course, in team fights, Seekers is harder because if you're not able to land your skill shots consistently, which is really fucking hard to do on Li Ming, then all of a sudden your damage goes down quite a bit as well. Uh, we're gonna interrupt her ult, interrupt her ult, interrupt her ult. She didn't ult. Say it was just literally saving my abilities for her ult. It didn't happen. Great swap from our Artanis, though. Credit where credit is due. We're going to go ahead and try to move Sonya back. Didn't quite work out for me. Asmodan's going to be pulled forward. I don't have enough mana to jump in on him, and we're stuck in the Maw now. Just going to let the team know I'm pretty low on mana here. Although I'm trying. We got that teleport kill there. And it looks like this is going to be... A dead core. I'm just gonna keep focusing it. Keep my cues on it. Even if I die here, it's not the end of the world. GG, GG, G. All right, that was my first game on Li Ming in forever. I feel like we did okay. I was the only death on our team, so we absolutely dominated. MVP. Damn, damn, damn. I think, like I, like I said, this is my first time playing this teleporter build. I only played it because it was the most popular by a ton. By a ton. I still think I prefer the secret build, though. Secret build's really good. How fair was the last match? Didn't seem that fair. <laughs> just, uh, just gonna be honest with you. So we went for power hungry into dominance, and this is what you'll do in most games. Then Calamity for the teleport damage, Wave of Force. You pick Wave of Force because it's instant damage that can catch people off guard. Uh, disintegrate will do more damage, but you have to sit there and channel Disintegrate, right? Whereas Wave of Force is boom, 
instant damage. If you combo it with the rest of your skill shots, you can kill people really, really quickly. And at level 20, if you get repulsion, it's quite a big knockback. Uh, then we went into Illusionist. We went into Diamond Skin. And then at 20, I personally would have gone for Telrosh's Elements in that particular match. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time with Lieutenant Morales. See you guys then. Okay, bye.